There's one. There we go. Ooh, dark male. Welcome back to the channel. I'm done with in-depth angling. Today I've got Marshall, my friend here with me. Uh, we're out fishing today on Windy Lake of the Ozarks. It's a sunny day, about 70 degrees. Wind's out of the west at about 15 to 20 mile an hour. And uh, you guys can probably hear the wind right now as we're getting blown around. But we're gonna be targeting crappie on the spawn today. We're gonna go out there and show you guys how to catch some of these fish during the uh, mid-spring and uh, these fish moving up shallow to go spawn. Let's get out there, uh, the fish should be biting. There's one. Dark male. It's crappie this time of year, moving back up here onto these uh, pea gravel banks. Flat and easy for them to make beds on. This is a male, white crappie. Fish number one of the day right there. Came on a red and chartreuse crappie jig. Three casts in a row. right up there at 10 inches long. Switched over to all chartreuse crappie jig. Water over here is even a little bit more murky than where we started. The water visibility today is not very good. It's maybe like a foot. Right up behind the dock right there. I'm out of the wind here for a second. Right in the corner of the mouth, about a 10 or 11 inch crappie right there, white crappie, uh, pretty shallow. aggressive fish. Can't even see the jig in his mouth, it's all the way in his throat. All right, getting on the board here with a few decent sized crappie, all been white crappie, a few of them have been males. Uh, a few of these fish look like they're almost like spawned out already. And uh, we're gonna kind of give a bit of a mix here of the, some of the post spawn fish. I'm fishing out here closer towards the point of a mouth of a cove here, where some of the fish that have spawned in the last week are starting to move out. And in the back, there's still some in there spawning. So we're gonna keep this guy cause he's big enough to keep. There's one. That's a little bit smaller yet. I think we're gonna turn her back. Barely hooked on the outside of the mouth that time. All right, we're gonna send her back. There we go. Ooh, dark male. Dark male. First cast is on the other side of this dock here, and that's probably a good 11 or 12 incher. Look at a measurement on it here. 11 inch crappie right there, and it is uh, got the darker marking, and you can definitely tell on the belly the darker coloration there from being a male in the spawn. They get darker markings as they go up to uh, spawn this time of year. There we go. Oh, that's a bluegill. That has a very bright colored bluegill belly on that thing's crazy. See you, buddy. Marshall's hooked up on one. What color did you get him on? Red and chartreuse. Red and chartreuse. Too small. Yeah. Marshall's just trolling out over here in the middle of the cove and hooked into a crappie. Yeah. It's a decent one. It's a yeah, it's a keeper Pretty size, good. probably 10. That one's a female too, it's got eggs in it on the belly. Right 
Right out in the middle, huh? Yeah. There's one. Oh, came off. There's one. No, it's probably only about three foot deep right there where I caught him. Corner of the mouth, barely hooked. Another nice white crappie. There's a fish. Almost to the back of here. Nice. Another male. That'll be keeper too. There's a fish. Yep. I don't think he's gonna be quite big enough to keep, but yet another crappie. Another one. Again, a little bit too small. Another white crappie. Oh. There we go. It's a little guy. Tiny fish. Hey guys, it's gonna do it for us here today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, leave me a thumbs up down below. Comment if you'd like to see more crappie fishing in the future. And until then, we'll catch you on the next one. Explore deeper, there's more out there. Mm -hmm.